So talking about uh, strategies of organizations, uh, any organization, you have to have your corporate level strategies to you have to have your uh, business level strategies. So when it comes to corporate level strategies, they are very broad. They are very broad because that's the entire corporate level or the, the entire organization's uh, objective based strategies. And then from the corporate, you may have uh, different diversified business units. Uh, you can say that they are su subsidiaries of your organization. So each subsidiary should have a, a objective which is aligned to the corporate objective and each organization should have the uh, business level strategies, uh, maybe uh, uh, different different uh, strategies that we are going to talk about. And then you have, we know commonly, you have to have a marketing strategy for your each organization. And then you have to have a sales strategy for your organization. Some common corporate level objectives may be, okay, uh, uh, to uh, raise your profitability, uh, uh, to meet the requirement of the capital of the organization, or maybe uh, uh, to increase your production to meet the demand of the organization maybe uh, develop your brand reputation uh, like uh, Unilever uh, or maybe innovative ideas like Dialogue does uh, continuously they are talking about uh, future today so that is to create innovative ideas or innovative products and services which will cater not only for today for uh, the future uh, technologies bringing in for today's uh, market so they are continuously working on uh, driving the innovatives or innovations to the uh, customers so in this context uh, first you need to have a, a corporate of vision then you have to have a corporate mission the way of doing that the purpose of the organization and then comes the analysis which is very important market analysis you need to understand what is the market potential what is the requirements of the customer what are the the threats that you have through a SWOT analysis, you can understand what are your strengths to meet the, 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 the requirements of the market, what are your weaknesses that you have to improve over a period of time, what are the type of uh, uh, we are the threats that you have. Uh, and also uh, through a SWOT analysis, you can understand where what are the opportunities that you should uh, harp on or to work on and what are the opportunities that you will not be able to reach uh, with the strengths that you have and the weaknesses that you have. Also, it will help to improve your weaknesses and to get the best out of your strengths you have. For an example, uh, if you are an innovative company, you have a very good team for innovations so that uh, that's a strength that you have. So then you have to harp on that to cater to the market with your innovations so similarly if you have a weakness we'll say you have a weakness in terms of financing of the organization so that you have to uh, you understand that that as a weakness then you have to find ways how you can uh, uh, overcome that weakness to meet the demands of the organization so if you don't do these exercises uh, you uh, you can't predict a good uh, sustainability of the organization so you do your uh, analysis and also you can do a pestil analysis, pestel or pestil analysis. The pestil analysis is nothing other than uh, the external analysis or external conditions where it will help your organization to grow or whether you have any uh, problems uh, with the external uh, situations, maybe political, maybe uh, economical, uh, ecological, or maybe legal uh, barriers, or maybe uh, technological barriers. So kind of all those barriers, if you can analyze, and then you have to come into your uh, strategy of the individual business unit. So when it comes to individual business unit, there are certain strategies that you can use. Uh, you can think of uh, the, uh, the five forces according to uh, Porter's five forces. You have to analyze what are the kind of uh, threats for new entrants, whether you have created an environment where a new entrants cannot come into the market to compete with you, or what are the threats of substitutes that you have at the moment, or maybe the bargaining power of your suppliers because 
uh, in supply chain we learn that uh, if you have if you can have a good bargaining authority over the suppliers you can have a better uh, competitive advantage over the competitors or the bargaining power of uh, customers or whether if suppliers have a lot of options other than new that means the customers bargaining power is very high so if you know all these things you can come into a good uh, strategic strategy formation for your organization without knowing all these things you can't come to a good uh, strategy formation and then uh, we know ends of matrix ends of matrix suggests what and so matrix uh, suggests that uh, either you go for a market development or whether you go for a product development or whether you go for a penetration of the market or whether you go for a uh, diversification so market development is nothing other than you are getting into new markets new customer segments with your offerings products and services whether you can develop new products to the existing customers whether new product uh, uh, opportunities are there or whether you have uh, any opportunity to penetrate further to go into the existing markets and to penetrate more have you reached to your entire uh, customers or the customer base uh, or the segment that you are targeting at or else whether you have any diversification opportunities so uh and so matrix uh, will help you to form your strategies depending on these four areas so also uh, porter suggested a competitive advantage model whether you want to have a totally a differentiated product or you want to uh, create a niche product which uh, a smaller segment of customers but they will uh, provide you a sustainable business or whether you want to make a cost effective product whether you are going to have a cost effective product uh, that means at a at a lower price i don't say cheap but it's a, a, at lower price the best uh, the, the solutions or the value for money uh, solutions to the customers so that is called the strategic uh, uh, porters uh, competitive advantage or competitiveness to create the competitiveness in the market what are the type of strategies that you can uh, depend on or the, that you can launch the next one is that the uh, bcg matrix so bcg matrix also helps you uh, whether what are the type of uh, products or the out of your total portfolio uh, what are the high growth potential products or what are the low growth potential but you have a uh, high market share high market share but the growth is very low so what are you going to do for your uh those kind of products out of your existing product portfolio uh, certain products you can call it the question mark products uh, uh, very high growth rate but your market share is very low so then what are you going to do with those products and uh, the other one is on the bcg matrix is the dogs uh, we call it dogs uh, that is low market share and uh, low growth rate so you don't have a better market share and also low growth share whether you keep those product range with you or you uh, have to discontinue those products so those kind of uh, strategies that you need to do and uh, this bcg matrix uh, porter's five forces uh, porter's competitive advantage uh, and ends of matrix kind of things helps you to form those kind of strategies